RC family. So today we've got part four of the modifications that we've been making to our indoor rock crawler course. And we are adding an entire new level. We're also adding what I call a sinkhole because uh, we're from Florida. And we've got this barn facade that I'm gonna walk you through. So sit back and take a look at what we've got going on. So what we're doing here is we're going to be adding another phase to this project. So we're going to be working on the second level. So as far as some material, we're using some corrugated cardboard that we kind of piecemeal together and to kind of give it, put some tape on it to make it look more rigid. Um, I have some branches that I got from my neighbor's tree right here. So basically we're going to take this, we're going to put approximately anywhere between six to seven inches branch uprights kind of holding it up similar to that, basically in line with those. Over here you'll see that I am test fitting that cargo bridge that we made earlier and I've got that little preview up above. If you haven't seen that I'm going to put a link at the back end of this video because it's pretty awesome. I grabbed some brown paper bag, I wrinkled it up to give it some texture and then you'll see that it's just kind of glued into place. So we took a couple of days to finish up section two and we are now finishing up section three on this course. And you're gonna notice that with the original time lapse that I had recorded earlier, this was one solid piece. I decided to do a, away with that and carve it up a little bit so it looked a little bit more organic. I also created this hole right here, which I'm planning on running branches in a zigzag pattern in the middle to give it kind of another obstacle on a flat surface. I do have another facade planned for back here. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Right now, we've gotta finish up the edge just the way we did last time with some brown paper bags. We're just gonna cover them up like that. Actually, we're gonna cover it up like that. And then I'm also going to do this section. After that, we're going to get to painting and then I'm going to get to making that facade. So let's get started. some twigs kind of from the backyard and we're going to be filling in this area here randomly. No pattern, just enough twigs to cover the area but not enough where the vehicles will basically just be driving over it. We still want to make sure that we have some kind of challenge on there.
to attach the rope bridge. It's going to be going in that position there. And then after that's attached, we're gonna go ahead and build our facade. I haven't exactly decided what I'm doing on this. I might be doing a cabin or a garage or maybe a barn, haven't decided. But the plan is to build it out of this wood material. So we're gonna get this cargo bridge attached and then we're gonna get started on our new facade. couple of days since I last updated a video I'm getting ready to work on that second level facade that I told you that I was gonna build I'm thinking that I'm gonna make a barn we are gonna make it out of some of this cardboard this very thin cardboard that I just had laying around the house um, we're gonna be using our exacto knife to cut it out I know this is a terrible straight edge but this is what we're gonna use because that's all I can find and we're going to be using these sticks, these small, tiny sticks that I got at the craft store, and we're going to build the facade in total. Right now, we've got a couple of days to work on this because we are on Hurricane Ian lockdown, and we still have power, so I thought I'd take advantage of it and get this project started. This is where everything really starts to come along. I used those small quarter inch pieces of wood to cover the entire front, turn it over, and then I trimmed the back. Those same pieces of wood were used to create the barn doors in a very simple design. I went by a picture that I saw on the internet and just kept building. Once that was all done, everything got attached to the front. And then on the back, I went ahead and reinforced the back to just thicken it up a little bit because I didn't want it to warp. Once that was done, I went ahead and I made the roof and then started to paint everything. The same technique was applied to the doors with the only difference being that I painted a little bit darker, so I used more black. I think these came out really nice. When it came time to painting the roof, I decided to use a little bit of orange, white, gray, black, and brown, and just give it kind of a rustic, rusty finish. Just keep adding paints, mixing, and blending, and you'll get a perfect finish. here we've got a couple of accessories that I built to attach and then we're gonna go ahead and finish off with some greenery and then we'll take you on a tour of this entire brand new section so let's do this with the way that this came out it's all about adding the details that are going to take your courses to the next level and I already have plans on what I'm going to do to add to this because in the end of the day 
our courses are never really done. Now it's time to check out our deadbolt and see what it looks like on the course. This course came out exactly the way I planned. We've already had an opportunity to run all of the rigs through it and they look awesome. I've got plans already in the works for adding to this section. And if you haven't had an opportunity to like, subscribe and share this with the rest of our RC community, please do so. We also wanna make sure that you hit that notification button because we have a lot planned including a trip to USTE this year, which is the Ultimate Scale Truck Expo. And I've built a huge diorama in the 124th scale for competition day at the expo. So hoping that I take home a win and we'll see you soon.